busy. I hope I didn't interrupt you in the middle of anything uh, a lot more important than playing this piece of garbage. Uh, no, I, I've been lying on my couch sick. That's about it. Oh, oh god, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, cold's pretty much gone at this point. It's just like that annoying part where like your sinuses are still freaking out. Yeah, that's... Mm, that's it's, never a good yeah, thing. So I apologize if I sound a little more nasally than usual. <laughs> well, that's just part of your charm, hey, everybody. We have a uh, internet celebrity, Proton John. Oh, great. <laughs> Yay! Internet celebrity. Hey, did they, they upload our MAGFest panels yet? Uh, they should have. I feel like I'll double check for you right now. Because I haven't seen mine up yet, and I've been meaning to post it. Because I remember my one last year where I talked a bit about this very game. Uh, went up yeah, I, fairly I fast. Remember, like watching this, I was like, I've seen this game before, but I've never yeah. played it. It's uh pretty magical. How much of how much of my playing it have you seen so far? Uh, I popped in around 9:40. That was when you last died. Whenever wipe count seven happened. Uh, it's now making a noise every time I step. That's interesting. Oh, that's... I remember that's because one of my dudes is paralyzed. Wait, so is he taking damage then? Uh, I don't think so. I think he just can't move. That's just the sound to indicate that something's not right. Oh, that's a sign of a great game. Yep. Eh, you know what, I'm just gonna... gonna reset here. Oop. So yes, this is uh, Stargazer Hoshio Miruhito, which has been at least partially translated enough to be playable, though some of the text is still in... God, that's annoying. Uh, some of the text has... The, some of the more incidental stuff just hasn't been translated yet, but most of the story text is good to go. So, we've been going through it so far, and uh, this is the fixed version of the game. Um, the original version has uh, half the walk speed and no save feature. Nice. So it's like Mother 1, basically, originally. The, the uh, fixed version. Um... That's awfully mean to Mother 1. You know what? I, having actually played Mother 1, I feel like it's not. Uh, Mother 1 is a lot. It's, it's like... Oh, ugh, I... Um, Mother 1 doesn't have as many terrible design decisions as this does. Uh, okay, looking at the palette, I'll give you that. You got me there. Uh, it's not just the palette. Um... So, uh, as you saw, one of my dudes there was paralyzed. Uh, paralysis seems to be the absolute worst thing that can possibly happen to you in this game. Can you even get out of it? I, it seems um, like any time you've been hit, you're stuck. Um, I think you get a party member later on that might be able to cure it. There might be an item I don't know about that can cure it, because there are potion mixers, and they can make potions that do things, like... We cured, uh, I keep on forgetting what the name of that disease we had to cure in the other town was. It's like skin, like skin flow disease or whatever the hell it was. Um, yeah, we, we managed to cure that, um, with potions. And there's a revival potion we can use whenever somebody dies. So, mm-hmm, that's what we've been doing. I don't know how much money I have, so I'm hoping I'm going to buy something and be able to afford it. Yes, okay, so we bought... Wait, uh, it, the game doesn't tell you how much money you have? Uh, it tells you how much money you have if you go to the status screen, and by the way, every character has a different amount of money. Oh. Yep, every character has their own money. It's like wizardry. Oh, God. Except you can't actually redistribute money, so... Uh, And there's so a wait, did they, they, there's like a just for surviving here. a fight, they get money basically. That's it. Uh huh. Wait. Okay. So this like door has mysteriously opened, so we now have a door. Is this a shortcut? Is this good game design? What? No. No. Okay. Hmm. 
Uh, there are no real shortcuts in this game. This game is, uh... So as you can see, I can sometimes jump over tiles because one of my characters has a very good jump ability. So sometimes walls are just a theoretical construct. Yeah, I've, I've been trying to understand why it's like <laughs> walk through certain things. I've been trying to wrap my head around that. Mm, yeah, uh, the characters have a psychic jump ability, and depending on who you have in the lead, uh, characters have better jump than others, so you can theoretically jump giant walls. Wait, Except well, sometimes you can't. If your character dies, like, what happens if the character dies that actually has the good jump and you have the terrible jump? Are you trapped, or can you still use their ability? <sighs> yeah, you're probably screwed and just have to save and quit. Jesus. Because, uh, whenever you save and quit, you start back in the same place. Well, not the same place, but the same place is right next to the first town, which is invisible. Excuse me? Yeah, the first town is invisible. It's right to the left of you, but if you were, you know, just playing, you wouldn't know that, and you'd just either step up or and get into a fight and get killed immediately, or you'd go to the left and be like, wait, what, there's a town here? Right, you even covered that in your panel, too, I remember that. Yeah. So this is, like, I, I've read a lot about this game, and this is my first time playing it and experiencing it firsthand, and Minami just can't seem to hit this guy for shit. Actually, nobody seems to be able to hit this guy. Uh, let's just crank up our fire arrow here. I hope that is suitable for murderizing. Wow, eight hole damage. And still not doing any damage. That's uh, that's great. Boy, this is going to be a humdinger of a battle. Let me tell you. So, so what is the psychic power meter on the bottom, I've noticed? Because I thought it was always going up when you would raise the, the meter, but it seems like it changes the number randomly. Uh, it changes the number by increments. Like, oh, I'll show you here. Let's do another I, fire. I saw, you in, I saw you increase it in one, and it went up and then back down. <laughs> yeah, you can control, like, how much psychic power you put into your your spells here. So, theoretically, you could crank it up. And that shows how much you have remaining after you've cranked it up. Uh, so that is your, like, your... That's your mana, basically. Yeah. Real nice way of illustrating that, not confusing at all. Mm -mm. Okay, Psychic Shaker, let's try this. I found the Game Facts guide for this, and now I'm trying to catch up to where you are. Yeah, like, uh, I'm... I've been looking at that one, too. Yeah. I'm... I feel like I'm kind of lost here, because at this point, uh, I can't seem to dam actually, like, damage this enemy. Which is never a good sign. Let's try a hurricane, see if we can... Oh! Did a whole one damage. That's beautiful. Stalkers have 22 hit points. 22. Uh, we're getting there. <laughs> getting there slowly. Oh, no way. I don't have enough points. So I just wasted that turn. If you don't have enough uh, magic to cast a spell and you pick a spell, um, yeah, your turn's just gone. Wait, I... it doesn't tell you if, you if you can't afford it? Nope. And by the way, you can't cancel out of any commands. Uh, I think we're basically, like, in a, a thing we can't win here. So, uh, let's just, um, count that as a wipe. Because I, you can't run either, so... Yeah, Stalker scene's pretty low down on the enemy list, if I'm understanding this. Okay, so clearly we're in a place we are not supposed to be yet. I don't... Like, that door didn't... I, I don't think that door worked before, but now it works. So, eh? I... Yeah. Actually, let me look back at the uh, FAQ here. It says there's two types of stalkers. If we're fighting one of them. Hey, we got a new follower. Let's see here. The Dez is now our Twitch Tomodachi. Thank you, The Dez. 
So I've got uh, another silver ID card. And I think I picked up an ID card before, but I may have had to reset after I got it. So I'm kind of thinking I should go back and attempt to try and get it again. <laughs> um, break through the first town in Arc. God, I'm not entirely sure. Like, okay, we got the silver ID cards. Oh, yeah, I looked up on Magfest. They are still uploading panels. So. Oh wow! Yeah, it's taken. As, like they, they uploaded one as of 22 hours ago. Uh, which one? It seems like they had a big focus on the concerts first. Uh, it looks like they're still on the first day of panels. I see cosplay for confidence, bigger and better <laughs> villains, and getting started with game development. Ooh. Yeah, uh... Yeah, jeez. I, I think my panel's probably fairly low-ish on the priority scale. Ah, thank you, the I, Dez. I, I, I can't tell what order they're going in. I see Inafune's panel, I see ABGN's panel, I see voice acting panel, Magfest Mega Game Show. Yeah, it's kind of everywhere. Oh, whoops, I accidentally started from the beginning. That's not good. The thing is, you always start from the same place no matter if you reload a game or if you start from the beginning, so... And it doesn't automatically go to continue, either. So, bleh. Salamander, please, please just go away. The, the encounter rate in this game is a thing. Is it akin to uh, Mother 1? <laughs> Ah, definitely worse than Mother One. Mm. Mitomo fucking destroys my battery. It's unreal. Yeah, uh, if you're using Mitomo, like turn on performance saving in the options. I don't know why that app uses battery the way it does, but it does. And uh, you really because don't. Nintendo has no idea how to optimize. Yeah, this is true. And also, you really, really do not need 60 FPS Mitomo. Like, I know there's a bunch of people who want 60 FPS for everything, but trust me, you really don't need 60 FPS for Mitomo. Yo, how are you going to win the Pachinko game otherwise? Uh... Every single frame to pick the proper <laughs> angle. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that game. I spent way oh too God. many tickets on the friggin' trying to get cats. I am still not sure how you're supposed to actually earn money in this game, besides giving them money. Um, you give answers and you log in every day, basically. That's it? You just, you just get that minimal amount and that's it? Um, I think they're also going to, like, uh, add other ways to get money, because right now, you know how mobile games tend to be, they start off pretty slim pickings, just work to amass a bit of an audience, and then they add a bunch of new features over time. Yep, who we got? Yeah, I, I feel like this is a game that kind of needed more. Jodorowsky right 8, thank you very much for the follow. I'm sorry, John, didn't mean to interrupt. Nah, that's cool. I, that, that was all I was going to say. I just I feel like this game needed more from the get go. Like, the picture thing is probably the coolest thing about it. I mean, the picture thing is pretty compelling. Let's, uh, let's be real here. And hey, we found the silver you, ID. You Will can. you pick it up? Yes. Okay, so now I've got both IDs. And now I can leave. Okay, let's find this. There we go. Yeah, the Pachinko game is not. Uh, got another follower. Let's see who it is. Uh, Mountain Man Jed, thank you very much for following me. Uh, I hope you won't be disappointed that I don't play garbage all the time, just most of the time. I don't know how many people are going to be disappointed on that. <laughs> How dare you play something of moderate quality? Quality is sometimes debatable. Oh, right, that's a power <laughs> dead generator. That's not the door. I um, what, what was that game you played last year of the, the dude who just kept getting more angry and turning into a monster? Um, that was uh, King of Crusher. Yeah. Oh, man. That like, game seemed weird. Yeah, that game is fascinating as hell. Terrible and weird, but fascinating as hell. This is also... God damn it! I swear, one time I got like four fights in a row. It's like what Andy was saying. He... Step, step, step. Yeah. 
every step basically feels like a coin flip. Like you have a 50% chance of just getting an encounter. And now we're at the point where we can basically just wreck uh, the shit of the Lord of the Flies. These guys were never a big threat. It's like Beelzebub. Uh, for a name like that, you expect, you know, something threatening as opposed to probably lowest tier enemy in the game. It's a bit disappointing. Oh, no, wait, that's not the right exit. But I think if we swap to our other guy, we can actually jump over that wall. There we go. That makes things a lot easier when we don't have to worry about barriers. See how you make the revival potion, and I don't know what the aim potion is. Oh yeah, the aim potion is what we need to cure the skin disease in uh, the other town. Like you didn't even have to use it; you just walk into town with the potion, and it's like, hooray, we're all cured now. It's actually just a Glade plug-in you leave in your pocket. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, something like that. And it's called the aim potion. Um, I don't know if it's just the the weird translation, but somehow I think. A lot of these bizarre names are probably fairly accurate to the Japanese version, because nothing in this game makes a whole hell of a lot of sense. Okay, so now we're at this... This area is a bit confusing, um... Because it a has... Bit. A bit. A yeah. bit. You know, like every other area in this game. You missed the first part of the game where, like, is a struggle to not die immediately. Once you're past that, it's like you gain several hundred hit points every level for reasons... <laughs> this game is not particularly well balanced, is what I'm saying. What? You don't say. Like, what level are you right now that your HP main character, you have 200 at least? Uh, no, HP? we have 2,000 HP, you 2, see? 2,000? 2,000 HP because it deletes the last digit. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, you gotta get more of that uh, sweet, sweet uh, psychic child art. Motherfucker. Okay, you know what we're doing? We're we're teleporting. We're getting uh, the shit out of here. Teleport. Okay. We're gonna peace out. Wait, where the fuck are we? Uh. Did you not set a location for your warp? Um. Hmm. Uh, teleport should just, like, take you out of the fight? Somehow, we wound up, uh, now someplace in else entirely. Dungeon. And now it's just in... glitching out, and we have an additional child with us. This game is well made. Yeah, I can tell. Shooter is about the same strength as Stalker, 20 attack. Or 20 hit points, rather. Uh, let's try and teleport out. I guess you also gained Annie. I think so. Or Annie, however you say that. I don't know how she wound up in our party. Uh, she just did. Bad teleport takes the enemies out of the fight. Bad teleport. Bad. Go to your room. Okay, and let's... she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can get Battalion out of there. I don't think it worked. And, uh... Minami's now paralyzed, so that's a problem. Basically, we need to... Battalion can paralyze us, and that is the worst thing that can happen. So, um... I wonder if the one medicine we can use actually does anything. Worth trying! Nope, it does jack shit. Well then. <laughs> uh, huh. Oh, great! We're both paralyzed I, now. That's wonderful. I think I, I think I found the best line in this guide. On combat. combat. The most important thing about combat is how to avoid it. <laughs> Was 
to tell you, I think I missed that part. Oh, if you want boy. to get somewhere fast, find places well, you can jump slash glide over. You cannot encounter combat when you're gliding uh... over a You will also avoid combat when you're in a residential area of any sort. In the later parts of the game, finding a path by walking through walls is vital. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Well, we, uh... We just wiped. Both of our guys were paralyzed, so that, that essentially counts as a wipe. We're out. Whoop. So, we've had nine. Because if you're paralyzed, you can't do shit. Um, items. Let me see. If, did I... S I don't have any items. Wait, okay, so... Oh, I think I restarted by accident. God damn. <laughs> like, yeah, you pick start. Yeah, I pick start. start. Doop. So normally the game would use a password, and this actually patches in save support, but really what it does is it just saves passwords. Which, you know, isn't bad, I guess. Because a lot of people don't realize how rare and expensive battery back cartridges were back in the day. Even in 1987, like, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 did not use batteries. I think Final Fantasy did. Was that 87 or was that 86? I want to say over here was later than that. Yeah, over here it was later than that by me in Japan. I think it was 87. On it. Uh, initial release date, December 18th, 1987. Yes, okay. So yeah, it did use a battery. And this probably came before the original Final Fantasy. So we're, we're looking at... Uh, we're looking at something pretty ancient here. There we go. Uh, this game actually... Oh my god, was that correct? Where did that go? Oh. Uh, according to Wiki... Uh, oh my god, is that correct? That can't be right. Okay, never mind. Uh, two months before Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, you can kind of see the disparity in quality between this and uh, Final Fantasy 1. Even though they were made about the same time. Once Dragon Quest came out, it's like everybody wanted a piece of that Famicom RPG money. Which of course led to things like uh, another legendary Kusuge, Super Monkey Daiboken, which, you know, might be might be up for a playthrough one of these days. But for now, we've got this. Why do you put yourself through, like, these even, like, worse than worse games? Um, I don't know. Why are you asking me this? You have a league for Bomberman X Zero. I mean, we haven't, played Baz we haven't played Baz in ages. People have been asking me to bring it back. Bring it back! People want more Bomberman X Zero. Of course they do. For some reason. It's the last vestige of Hudson we have. We have to, uh, we have to keep his memory alive. Honor its memory by playing the worst game in its in its series. <sighs> yep. Nose eye. So, uh, John, um, mm -hmm. can you point out where the nose and where the eye are here? All right, let me get caught up here in a sec. Okay. I forget uh, that you're not. Uh... Um. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can kind of see where the eyes are supposed to be, because it looks like just closed eyelids on the left and right there, but I'm... The nose part's a little trickier. Yeah, it it looks like, uh... Also, I'm a little confused as to how the legs work, but that's just me. Oh god, I didn't even notice that. Holy shit. It's like it's trying to have, like, depth on a just a straight 2D image that doesn't want depth at all. Like, the top part has no depth, but the bottom does. And we're not doing any damage. However, the enemy is still just wrecking us. Jesus Christ. Children! Children! Why... why... You have good weaponry! Why can't you hit? This guy is nose, nose eye. Twenty-four hit points. Thirty 24. EP. Grammy's worth thirty bucks. 
Thirty dollars. Let's attempt to murder him. Took nine damage. Uh, how many hit points does he have again? Twenty-four. No, oh, Jesus. So we're gonna need at least three of those. Uh, fire arrow. Boop. Oh, now he took three damage. That's great. Moving up in the world. There we are. You know, I think I was doing more damage when I didn't have a weapon for Shiva. Uh, like, none of the characters are meant to just be mages, right? I don't think so. Like, I'm trying to play this as blind as possible. So, what weapon did you even give the characters, anyways? Uh, Minami should have the best one for this point. Like, and the thing is, you cannot unequip weapons. Oh. Like, when once you have a weapon, it is permanently attached to your hand until you buy or acquire a different weapon. God, please just die. Seven damage. I think uh, it's at twenty some damage. We're getting there. Yeah, some weapons are, uh... And now he just ran! Thanks a lot, asshole. Jesus. Okay, Here's so... Here's what I see in the guide. The items are not necessarily better as they get more expensive. Some websites have documented this better, and since a weapon's totals aren't added in your total attack or defense, there's no way to tell things for sure. <laughs> oh, great! Ah, uh, this game owns. Oh, dear. I still don't know why someone actually bothered to translate this. Um, whoever did this was also the same person who translated uh, Takeshi no Cho Senjo. I can kind of understand that one, because that one's infamous. I wouldn't say this one's... This one's really pretty infamous, infamous, too. Really? Yeah. I like. I, I never really hear about this one, but you always hear about Takeshi's Challenge. Uh, Takeshi's Challenge, um, I think, sold a lot more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was Taito, so... They marketed it pretty heavily, and it had a celebrity... It had a celebrity influence. Now, how the hell do I keep getting in here from there? This confuses me greatly. Um, oh, we fight Eliminator. So every time I cast Teleport with Minami, somehow I wind up in here. I'm not sure why. Does it say anything about that in the fact? I'm also not doing any damage. Uh, Eliminator is one of the characters that they have listed with no stats. They don't know any stats on the character. Oh dear. So it's one of three. Eliminator, please go away. Alright, we have uh, reached a point in the game where I think the best thing we can do is basically, like, make enemies disappear. Or at least attempt to. Teleport. Let's see if we can figure out where you are. So you got the second ID card, right? Yes. See, I don't even know where I'm at. Uh, let's save because I do want. Shooter suddenly appeared. Can we damage this? Okay, we're not doing any damage. This is great. You know what? I think we are going to reset and buy different weapons because clearly what we own right now I is is, <laughs> is no. Um. <laughs> Just. Are you modded in chat? Yeah, you are. I was trying to mod you earlier, but uh, for some reason it just wasn't working out. Whew. Thankfully, yeah. we always start next to the invisible town. Hooray. Yay. Yay. How much money do we have? Okay. So, I'm going to buy something totally different. Stock up on our fine weaponry. 
Let's so see. you know what? Do I'm. Know what they currently have? Or? I'm going to buy some hell brass. It's a kick-ass sounding name, at least. I know, right? Rag launcher? What? I don't know. Um, uh, hmm. Okay, who's following us? Let's see here. Hi back! Thank you very much for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, I now have sexy, sexy buttons at the bottom of my Twitch account, including a donate button. Yes, you can compensate me for the, uh, the amusement I have given you through this game. Something like that. Please pay me for the pain I have suffered. Something like that, yes. Or you can, you know, you can always contribute to the gaming.moe Patreon, and, which helps us uh, fund interesting and uh, exciting content for the site, including our recent uh, interview with Tetsuya Mizuguchi. That was a lot of fun, and I somehow managed to just jump right past the healer. Good job, me. So you can just jump over random walls once you have a jump skill, however, uh, people are still impassable. So there well, you go. Well, clearly you can only jump so high. I mean, a wall is clearly lower than a human. Okay. <sighs> okay, I think we're all healed up now, so let's try to actually kill something. Fingers crossed. Like, at this point, I am just confused as to, like, where we're supposed to be going, because we got the ID cards. Alright, you want me to give you a Yeah, that'd be good. Alright, let's okay. see here. So, Wait, we have a silver ID a... card. Hold on. Did we get the other ID card? Well, we're going to... Like, did we save it, or did we wipe after we got it? What because... level are you right now? What Do level you know? am I right now? Uh, Let's see... Level 6 for Sheba, and we're at level 7 for Minami. Okay, mm. um, it's recommending build your characters up until Sheba reaches level 9. You need to do this so you can cast teleport spells at the monster so you can break through to the first town in Ark City. Um, I... Th Although we've got the teleports. Got we've got teleport spells. I don't know if they work. Uh, but we've got them. And, uh, I don't know if we really have a lot of time for grinding. We're just trying to see, like, how Not far we get within the evening. Just on a blind playthrough of this... This fine RPG. Alright, so you have the ID card from the old man. Build your characters. With yeah. Uh, you'll take you'll take damage for each electric tile you step on, and it can build up. With you know, morning I they, they say something about electric tiles, but I found a generator that I turned. I think I either either turned it on or turned it off, and I haven't encountered any electric tiles yet. That's probably means you turned it off, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. I don't know why it uh, has or hasn't mentioned that. So is that village you're starting in Mammoth Village, or is that a different Yeah, one? yeah, that's the one we start in. Okay, heal up in that village, go to the northeast where you'll see an orange door. Oh yeah, I've seen that door. Uh, isn't that the door that you were... yeah, you tried yeah. out? Yeah, we tried out and we encountered this thing that we couldn't kill, essentially. Apparently that is where you're supposed to go. Oh boy! Oh boy, this game yeah. is... Yeah, the guide, the guide even says, you probably can't damage the monsters, so just teleport them away. <laughs> Nice. This, uh, this is good. This is well this designed. Is well designed. Yeah, we've. Okay, so how many silver IDs do we actually have? Uh, let's find out. Item. As long as you have the two. Well, we have good. more ID cards. We'd better save in case we wipe again, which is very likely, or we get into something unwinnable, which is also very likely. So now let's jump, uh, jump out of here somewhere. There's gotta be a way you can jump out. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, or do you do you have one silver card or two? Uh, I have a silver and I have a blue. Hang on a second. Jesus Christ. Thing saying you're supposed to have two. I think I think those are both the cars because I got the ones it told me to. The one from the old man and the one here. Okay. Um. He looks like you are correct. All right. Cool. So we should be good to go. Uh, it's just yeah. a matter of uh, like figuring out how to not get into unwinnable fights. Which, given this game and the fact that we've had like three fights in a row, is uh. A difficult proposition. This music is amazing, by the by. Should I, should I listen in? Let's see. Yeah, you should. I mean, you need to keep it in your memory for the next arcade pit. You never know. Oh, oh god. The, the category that only me and Smite like, apparently. <laughs> I like that category. Every time I hear it, I'm just yelling at the people, why don't you know this? I always find it funny. It's like me and Frank and Manic are always freaking out, like, oh, this one! And then everyone else is like, of course. What is this? Like, people. I, when, it, when Ikaruga came up, I was like, no, no. they don't know it. Why don't actually, they... No, they? They actually might have gotten that one. I think someone actually got that one correct. I think it was the guys who they passed to got that one correct. Yeah, that sounds about right. I just remember, like, the when you got the DuckTales Transylvania music, it was like, oh my god, why why is nobody else, like, immediately, like, knowing this within the first three notes? I I don't, I didn't remember the beginning of the song. I remember, like, mid-tune. I remember where it started, like, it starts building up to the bridge, where it's, like, getting more upbeat, sounds more like a Mega Man song. It kind of resembles uh, not Cutman's. I think a Leckman's theme a little bit. I forget which uh, kind of, classic Mega yeah. Man villain is. Yeah, but at that point, I recognize it. But I now, also what they should have done was a completely me different music from the Ducktales beta. Oh God! Don't even give him ideas like that. He, it, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, he he fucking used Do Re Mi for one of the screenshot questions. I know. Anyway, guys, uh, if you're not following Smite's Arcade Pit, you probably should. It's really, really entertaining. It's uh, every Sunday at, I believe, 5 Pacific Standard Time on uh, twitch.tv slash arcade pit. Uh, really good. It's a fun, interactive game show. You can submit questions and uh, screenshots and things like that for people, for them to use in the games. It's uh, very entertaining, very cool, and I really like what Smite's doing with it, so I definitely uh, give it a recommendation. And now uh, I've got uh, my plug for people I like done. Uh, John, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing alright. <laughs> we found a messiah. Praise Jesus. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, we found the messiah. She's right here. Oh. Hi! I'm and, uh, I think we also can't do any damage to her. No damage? Okay, so we're just going to have to, uh... Gonna Teleport have to her make her go away. Beep. Messiah has 32 hit points, 40 EP, and is worth 38 bucks. No damage, okay. Uh, ESP, let's, uh... Make her go away, hopefully. I think that failed. Let's just guard that, here. Do, where are you now? Did you go through that door in the Yeah, town? I did. Uh, yeah, it says go, it says go south, so you're going the correct way. Please go away. Please go away. There are two towns in Arc City. One is the government area in the southeast, and the residential area in the south center. Head for residential. Oh, we got a follow. Who's here? Llama, thank you for the follow. 
I've set up Twitch alerts, but I don't know how to get so that like displays uh, messages outside of uh, OBS. No, uh, what do you mean? Like, um, oh, I, oh, I have to I'm, check my OBS I'm... window in order to see like who's followed me. Okay, I know what you're talking about. You have to go to your dashboard. Okay. So, um, on the Twitch alerts dashboard, there should be an option that shows like who you followed you, who subbed to you, how long they've subbed to you, if they they're a resub, if they donated, stuff like that. Okay. So uh... you know you probably you probably have alert box open right now on that. Dashboard. Yeah, I have alert box open. Yeah, go click on the actual word name dashboard up top, and then you'll see everything. Uh, why does teleport keep landing us back here? That's interesting. I'm not sure I quite understand, but um, we still can't do any damage, and Shiba's still not doing anything of importance. Uh, the. Okay, we got Shiba the hell out of dodge. I think what's happening is that teleport can fail and just take you to a weird place. That seems high quality. Or else this is just like the fail dungeon. Ah, uh, this game. This game's a thing. Fine, I thought I saw something about setting markers for teleport. No, nope, can't find it. Alright. Yeah, every time Minami uses teleport, we wind up back in this weird place. And there's this door here that I think is our ticket out. So let's try. God, motherfucker. The Dark Souls of teleportation. <laughs> the Dark Souls, Jesus. There's this great new uh, Twitter account. It, it's like the Dark Souls of X or something, and it's just a list of all the Dark Souls comparisons in the media. There's so many of them now. I know. Everything is the Dark Souls of something. Dark oh hey, Souls that teleport worked! Dark Souls. Oh, wait, um... So now we're... Uh, as you can see, we're in a situation where we have a status ailment in which uh, one of our characters can't do anything, uh, but one of our characters has managed to teleport away, oh, no. so uh, we're just, we, we get to sit here and just watch this guy uh, plink away at our hit points. So, uh, have a fast forward? Uh, we're using Nestopia. I'm not sure if we do, because for whatever reason, uh, FCUX got this ROM in its system, and the first moment you talk to somebody, it was like, nope, and just bugged the hell out. Uh, I'm not sh sure. Is there a fast-forward key? Somebody in chat look this up, please. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Somebody bought this in the... Like, I, I was just talking about this earlier. Like, if you, you've got Dragon Quest and you were looking for a new RPG and you got this... It's like... If you bought Final Fantasy as, as a kid and saw the Square name and thought, Hey, what other cool games did Square make? And then the next thing you got was fucking King's Knight. <laughs> I mean, there are worse Square games out there, aren't there? Then King's Knight for the Famicom? Um, hmm. Hmm. Possibly? I mean, you know, Driving Emotion Type S exists. 
But that's way later. Like, hmm. way, way later. So, uh, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm just checking to see if there's any way we can, like, make this go faster. Please, God. Uh, like, I looked before and I didn't see anything, so, um, I'm not seeing it. Uh, you know what? Uh, we're just, we're, no. Boop. I'm not putting you guys through that again. We already did it once as a joke. Just let me make sure this is the right save. Okay, yeah, we got our ID cards. Wait, where did my bomb go? I had a bomb. My bomb's gone. What happened to my bomb? Did I, I use it without thinking? Do you at least still have your card keys? <laughs> and, and and the weapons? Yeah, I do have the cards. Uh, the weapons, like I said, are are glued to your person. So, and like once you get a new weapon, you essentially just like dump the old weapon in the trash. You cannot use it anymore. Okay, what, I forgot we have to switch the other guy who has better jump. So let's do that. Uh, we're supposed to go south, right? Uh, yes, once you go in the door. Okay. And somehow our third party member glitched in. That's great. Um. Let's attempt to hit Shooter for. Oh, wow, we can actually do damage to Shooter. Ooh. Or our party member that magically appeared can somehow do damage to Shooter. I'm not sure how she got here, but you know what? I'm not complaining if you can actually, like, damage this thing. We can kill us and at least get, like, experience points to, like, make our characters not terrible. I mean, That'd be swell. Hurt at this point. No, it can't. You said they're at six and seven, so let's right. see here what the experience differences are. Uh, not too much, actually. A couple hundred. Yeah, she has, uh, 50 hit points. All the characters have 50 hit points to begin with, because they start at level zero. How many hit points does this thing have? What, are you fighting Shooter? Yeah. Shooter is 20. 20! Okay! Uh, we're, we're getting there. Ah, shit. Misa could be dead. Oh no, the character who technically has not joined your party yet. I know, right? But wait, if she dies, maybe we can technically recruit her early if we go back and we use a revival potion on her? That would be incredible. That, that would be, that would be like, amazing bugginess. Now I kind of want her to get killed. Where do you even... What is this character's name? Misa? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, Misa just died. Whoop. Okay, so now we're just going to Yeah, fire. apparently you need to do a bunch of stuff before she even joins you. Wow, yeah, the next step you have to do is actually pretty huge. So now I'm just going to see if I can, like, recruit her early, because that would be kind of amazing if I could pull that shit off. So let's do that. Let's make a revival potion with Mr. Potion Man here. And see if we can revive... Actually, let's see if she even shows up in uh, the heal list. Hello, do you, have you heard my... Yes, we've heard your story many, many times. No, she doesn't. God damn it, I had such high hopes. No, you, just, you just got a lucky break. I know. Well, at least we got the uh, EXP from it. I don't know how that happened, um, but I've had it happen a couple times. Like, she just shows up in your party for reasons. Schrodinger's anime party member. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yes! Town music is beautiful, by the by. They released a, a uh, game music CD of this recently. In Japan. Did you say recently? Recently, yeah. There's a company called uh, Claris Disc in Japan that's been doing a lot of old video game music releases, and they're a pretty cool company. They've uh, they focus on really, really obscure stuff. Okay, here's some snakies. Um, hmm. Uh, still not doing any damage, so let's see if we can, uh, make these guys go away. I don't think that worked. Okay, there are two types of Cleopatra. One has 36 hit points and 40 DP. Uh, the other, they don't know how much health it has and it has 60 DP. I guess that's how many experience points they are. I don't know why I thought they were, like, MP, basically. Jesus, these things, uh, hit like a truck. Okay, teleport, please don't screw up. I guess a dumb question is, um... Yes? Can this game actually be beaten? Shit. Uh, it can, yes. People have done it. Um, Why they've they done it without, you know, they, they've even done it with uh, half the walk speed and no uh, save ram. Ugh. God damn it. We just keep on winding up here and let's teleport away, please God. Okay, she was out of here. Yeah, it's saying you should be teleporting the enemy the way instead. Uh, the enemy teleport does not seem to have a high rate of success. Maybe I have to pump up the psychic power. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I think that, that affects success rate. They keep on winding up here. Shooter suddenly appeared. Uh, can we have What's-Her-Face show up again, please? So, like, let's try this. This is enemy teleport. No, that didn't work. Hmm. Weird. That's what. The, that's definitely what the guide recommends. Yeah. Uh, we may have to like. Uh, it. It might take some level grinding. The problem is like, the other enemies we have to fight give like nothing for exp. Yeah. That for. Uh, for, like, hitting them is not working. So let's just get Minami out of here. Okay, so Minami managed to teleport. Uh... Now let's see if we can do it for uh, Shiba here. Hey, we escaped! And we didn't have to go back to this weird place. I really want to get to that door. I really want to get to that door one of these days. I want to figure out what's <laughs> there. Uh, please get us out of here. Please get us out of here. Can you not jump over Oh, god wall? damn it. No, you can't. I really just, like, want to save state scum my way through and see what's in that door. Please forgive me, like folks. I feel like might have to at this point. I know I said I wouldn't save state, and I already broke that w once, but I I just want to see what what is in that door. Like, why why are we here? What is in that door? Uh, save state. There we go. Okay, quick load state. Boop. Let's see. Is it sh shift plus one to save? Yeah, save the slot one. We're gonna get to that door. We're going to get to that door. God damn it. Yes! We did it! 
You actually made it? We actually made it, and we're back at this... I, I compare this to, like, it's one of those RPG mazes where, like, you're pushing ice blocks through a puzzle, except, like... It's something else? Hmm. Okay, so both the door in the town and that other door from that weird mechanical island both lead to the same place. So, and considering we can't actually, like, damage anything here for weird reasons, um, I guess what we're going to have to do is, is we're just going to have to gr either grind it out or, like, blow all of our psychic power just... Attempting to damage these uh, chuckle fucks here. I think if you can actually make it to that town that's at the bottom of that area, you'll be able to get better weapons again if you have the money. Right, I'm not sure if we have the money either. And that teleport did not work, so. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Crank up Psychic Hurricane here, see if that does damage. Eight damage. How much. Uh, how much health does Stalker supposedly have? I think he was a 22? Stalker is 22, yep. Does yeah, that work? It, it says... Oh yeah, it worked! Hot damn! Unfortunately, we just, like, forced him to leave, so... Didn't do much! We got zero. God damn it. Welp. Okay... Yeah, it says if you can make it down south to the next town, you can get your third party member. That would be helpful. Instead of just screwing up our teleports and winding up back here. So, basically, we just have to make it south. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the failure dungeon. Back to Purgatory. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Back to Purgatory. Whoop. I think we... we better reset and attempt to like like I have a I kind of want to just get a case where there's one enemy that I can just throw all my psychic stuff at and get EXP like a decent amount of it <laughs> Because uh, every time we do our regular attacks, we can't do damage. And I don't think any of Shiba's spells, like, do actual damage. They all either teleport or inflict status ailments that um, aren't really doing jack shit for us right now. <laughs> yeah, we keep, on, we keep on teleporting to Purgatory. As if this game is not Purgatory. Do you want to know the good news or the bad news about leveling up? Uh, what's the good news? Um, you get stronger. Yeah? The bad news is that you only go up one point per level. Oh, oh, great. If, I, if I'm reading this correctly, D is... Wait, what? What? Oh, I guess those were the electric tiles. I guess we're oh, dead. did you die? Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> You found them! <laughs> yeah, those are the electric tiles. You know, those things that look like, uh, <laughs> normal ground. <laughs> this game's great, by the way. Mm -hmm. I You've love sold it. Me on it. I'm gonna buy 30 copies. <laughs> oh, and I think we're soft lock. So uh, <laughs> time to reset again. <laughs> this game's great. I love it. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Ah, we just can't win. Okay, who's following me? Uh, this is... Holonel, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I'm trying to take streaming a little... You know, do a bit more streams. Like, try and up it from my current, uh... Whenever I feel like it to a bit... Something a bit more scheduled. Like, maybe once a... You know, starting with about, like, once a week and maybe going up from there. Because I feel like, uh... I feel like you connect more with people when you stream. 
And plus, it's a good yeah. excuse for me to play all this backlog stuff I really should play. Uh -huh, I'm sure you need an excuse. Uh huh. No, really. Like, one of the things I've been thinking of doing just for uh, patrons is um, there are a bunch of you know really famous games that I haven't played yet for whatever reason. You know, I I'm ashamed to admit it. They're they're shame games. Like, I haven't played Mother Three. I haven't played uh, Guardian Legend. I haven't played stuff like Clash at Demon Head. Hmm. So it's like I should I should find a way to play these. But it's like, which one do I play first? So I kind of want to leave that up to people. This month, though, um, I think we're going to focus, like, I've been wanting to do, to uh, like, gaming collectible and toy reviews for a while, because I feel like that's a part, like, most people don't cover that. And there's some really good stuff out there. And there's also some real garbage out there. <laughs> Like, uh, I just bought the Final Fantasy XII uh, player Takai Fran. It was about a hundred bucks, and, uh, it really sucks. I didn't realize they even had player Kai's of those yet. Uh, they had- they made one of Fran for some reason. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. She's probably the most popular character from that. Is she really? Her, her and Balthier, yeah. Eh, yeah, you're probably right. But it's... Uh, mo yeah, most people like Viera from, like, whatever other game they showed up in, the forget what one. And Paul Thier's basically just Han Solo, so... Yeah. You're so cute. But the figure itself is, like, hilariously disappointing, especially given the price point, whereas I also bought Nendoroid Kirby, and that thing is so good! It's just, I've like... I've seen so many amazing pictures of that thing going around. Oh god, it is like the perfect video game toy. It is so well engineered and so nicely designed, and I want to review both of them and say, like, here's a great video game collectible, and here's one that's, uh, overpriced and, uh, comically disappointing. So, that, that's kind of my goal for next month. Also, reviewing Genesis Sparkster, which is... Oh, oh yeah, so I guess, like... If you're in the mechanical area and your teleport fails, you go to that weird purgatory type place, whereas if you're in this part of the world and your teleport fails, you just go back to, you know, square one with invisible town to your left. Interesting. Yeah. So I guess uh, we've officially... This game is weird about progression, because I think we, we progressed to maybe like the second part of a map? Eh, I, I, it's hard to d divide this into segments, because everything just kind of looks the same. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, did I tell you about salamanders? I think I showed the salamanders in, like, the original presentation. I gave on Kazoge. They're the guys who can paralyze you. Like, you can counter them as... As your first enemies, they can paralyze you, and then you're basically screwed. It's like, instant wipe. Yeah, I remember you saying that too, being like, you can't walk too far away from where you start, otherwise you're just immediately screwed. But you need mm -hmm. to level up, because you need like 10 experience to even get to level 1. Yeah. Uh, for from what I've zero. seen, every, every character starts at level zero. So the next character we pick up will undoubtedly also be at level zero. And the gains you get from experience, at least to your hit points, are absurd. Uh, the salamanders can, uh, can paralyze you. I probably worded that badly. Yeah, you start at level zero. And I'm sure you can... What we're saying is it's a great game. Yeah, this is... this is quality. Quality. Whee! Like, it has some uh, good ideas, like ordering the... like... Being able to order your character's a attack at the beginning is nice, but ultimately it just means you're mashing more. To get through, because... 
I haven't really found a good use for order yet. It would be nice if, you know, I could put Shiba first, like, his, if his teleport skill was worth a shit. <laughs> and then we could just teleport everything out of here. But no, that that isn't a thing. Oh, by the way, uh, we, I might have leveled up. I'm not sure, because it never tells you when you level up. Oh, you that's just, great. Yeah, you just have to check. Do, do, do. Like, let's check. What level am I at? Uh, Shiba is at level 6. How much more does he need? He needs, uh, like 130, 40-ish? And what about my other dude? And you can only check, like, the stats of the dude who's currently in front. Oh, hey, he only needs a uh, hundred to level up. I'm sure we can uh, we can grind that out. Maybe, maybe. Um, let's go in here because I think we got some good mobs in here. Either that, or we're just gonna encounter more salamanders or flax. Jesus Christ. And the problem is, you have to listen to this music. Well, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. You don't... I wish uh, Discord, you know, the main Discord had screen sharing built in. Because once it does that, it's like... I, I've heard they're working on that. Yeah, uh, apparently the beta has it. Once that's in there, it's like, who will need Skype anymore? For yeah. realsies. God. Thank God. It's... The only thing that Skype seems to have over Discord is a tiny bit less latency. That's hmm. about it. And again, Discord seems to have things like stability and not <laughs> having who your... Who wants that in their program? Who wants God. that? Like, who wants qual call quality to not robot at random intervals? I think I can... I think I can grind out a hundred extra EXP here. Maybe that'll help, uh... <laughs> we'll, we'll level up both your party members, so... Mm hmm Hmm. I mean, Shiba will advance from a uh, small idiot child to awkward adolescent, much like our, man, our main hero has. Does the character actually, like, their portrait change? Yeah, the portrait changes. What? Initially, That's the... actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is actually kind of cool. Like, there are things in this game that are, you know, interesting, that kind of make sense, and then there's everything else. Shushu Mishuma says, I'd be surprised if the way to go through most of the game is to level up Shiba and bad, teleport things away. That's what the guide says so far. Yeah, I... I don't, uh... I don't doubt that is probably really broken in some way. I'm sure... Like, there's gotta be some exploit in this that we haven't found yet. Then you have the fact doesn't have it written. Who knows if it actually exists? The fact Whee! is missing something. Jumping. So it is the only one. It has maps of areas. Very hard to read maps. Oh, it's ASCII maps, right? Um, no, actually they are they're pixelated maps. They are they're PNGs. Oh, nice. So I did not see, see those. Find Purgatory here. Yeah, it says you are in the underpass right now to Arc City. That's where you're grinding out enemies. I really wonder what is on the CD of music to this game because the overworld just seems to have one song. Please give me enemies that give more EXP than three. For the love of God. Like I was saying before, I feel like they saw in the future that people would have emulators with fast forward functions and deliberately like put everything you would want to press in the spot where it would be most difficult to play while holding down a fast forward button. <laughs> because of course your first option isn't fight, your first option is use ESP and you can't cancel anything you've picked. Because when you're in battle, you gotta commit. Uh, 
Oh boy. Okay, how are we as far as EXP goes? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, Shiba still has about a hundred more to go, which means uh, our other guy probably still has a fair amount to go as well. Oh no, he has a, a fair amount less. <laughs> he should probably be at like 70. Please just die already, Salamander. Please. No, oh, yeah, he's only got 60 to go. Or 58, rather. That's still more grinding than I'd like to do. It's not particularly. Grinding is not particularly fun to watch. And it but makes I... me very happy that games like Bravely Default have an option to basically fast forward through your battles. It's like, hey, they're learning! But you'll gain a whole 520 health points, 165 psychic points. <laughs> yeah, you, uh. A whopping two speed! <laughs> Yeah, it's like your your hit points and your psychic points increase by, you know, tremendous amounts, and then it's like two speed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you're getting bigger and buffer, but uh, you still move like molasses, and you still uh, punch like a wuss. And I'm not entirely sure what the proficiency stat is. I think that's magic power type deal. There isn't a whole lot in terms of stats. Yeah, I'm trying to understand this weird chart he has here. So I see D, which I assume is damage. SP, I assume is speed. PR, I have no idea what that stands for right now. But man, you're going to gain two more of it when you level up. Oh boy. Then maybe, like, we can do damage. But then, yeah, if it's telling us on level 9 we're still not going to do damage, that's a, that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, strength. Where are we at? Oh, we only need a little bit more. Come on! We can do this! We're not going to do this by fighting salamanders. We really aren't. Salamander defeated. Sigh. Vac brings up a good point about Bravely Default. Bravely Default's weird because you're meant to hit level 99 halfway through the game, and then everything else is entirely dependent on how good you can build your party. Which is why there are, like, broken classes in that game. Hmm. I don't think I ever hit level 99. Really? I'm not entirely sh I have to go back, but... Here's the better question. Did you do all the side missions? You were probably reviewing it, so you probably didn't. No, I didn't do all the side missions. I did a good chunk of them. Because I remember on, I think, the second last chapter or the last chapter, there's one of the side quests is literally you fight everyone in, like, a gauntlet. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that. I'm like, nope! Yeah, that was the point where I had to use one of the broken, like, team setups to actually get through the game. And then once I did that, I never, I never turned back. <laughs> when you're at a point where you're doing oh god what is it is it 32 tacks of 9999 from two characters and you're not taking any damage then yeah why would you not use that all the time? <laughs> jeez like I try to deliberately avoid like I wanted to find my own dumb exploits but uh, the thing about that game and games like FF5 is that sometimes there are some Stuff that is so broken that the game, like, if you know it, it's like, why wouldn't I use it? And then the game kind of ceases to be fun. Like, for that sort of thing, I kind of like f figuring out my own semi-broken class builds. It's a lot more fun than just looking up something on the internet and being and hearing, yeah, I guess what, this is real broken. Yeah, I don't know. I, I tried. I kept finding my own classes that I liked in that game. I'm like, alright, this is a good group. Oh, this got me through like most of the game. And then I got walled. I'm like, alright, let's try this setup. Nope. Yeah, nice. Minami's up nope. to level 8 at least. Let's see what uh, Shiba's looking at. Uh, Shiba's probably 50 away from leveling up. Uh, more like uh, 42. So, 
Maybe we can try uh, going back and see if uh, teleport won't take us to purgatory. Oh, PR's proficiency. Okay, that's what that is. So I actually did get a review copy of Bravely Second, and I haven't started yet because I'm playing this garbage. I also got uh, I also got Star Fox Zero, which I should be writing up the preview on ANN next week. So uh, look for that, guys. Self promotion, hooray! It's great. What did you, what did you say? How you went robot on my side? Oh, sorry. Uh, I got a copy of Star Fox Zero in. So, uh, gonna be doing a preview of that for Anime News Network. Hopefully should be up on their gaming column next week. So, look forward to that. Uh, it also came with Star Fox Guard, which unfortunately has a later embargo, so I can't talk Wait. about that right away. Why does that have an embargo? It was I don't know! Star Fox Guard? I mean, well, when it was just Project Guard. Eh, I don't know. Maybe they added things to it. Maybe like Slippy's dad. Slippy's dad. We all wanted to meet Slippy's dad. We we can't. They can't spoil the the lore, the glorious <laughs> lore of the, <laughs> the Slippy family. Well, I mean, they already retconned out Crystal, so. Uh... Oh, is she actually? Well, I thought that's just because they were getting around that with all the prequels they keep doing. Haven't they done, like, the original... Isn't this, like, the third run-through of the original Star Fox story, though? Uh... Third? Um, like... There's SNES Star Fox, and then Star Fox yep. 64 was basically SNES Star Fox remade and expanded. And now this is... That, again. Oh, I yeah, think. I guess, yeah. No, well, this is supposed to take place before Star Fox 1, supposedly. Huh. Hence why it's called Zero. Interesting. I'll have to check this out. One sec. You, you can see it on the uh, the Star Fox timeline I've written up for Wikipedia. <laughs> Some, uh, oh, I have to commend the folks who are on my uh, on my Twitter feed and have been working very hard on the Fantasy Zone timeline. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. That's a thing that's been happening. Sorry, just had to unfocus the window there. Bip. I'm a good streamer. Nah. Okay, did, did he go up a level yet? Let's check. We gotta be pretty close. Yeah, we did. We reached uh, level 7. Oh boy. So now we've got 42 speed, 8 defense, 34 proficiency. Uh, we suck considerably less. Let's save this. Uh, save. Uh, let's see if we have any more success in killing things. Somehow I doubt it, but we're going to try well, anyway. Probably not. You never know unless you try. Yeah, see? His sprite's different now. It looks like he's either... punching... preparing to punch you in the face, or he's holding a knife. Actually, I think that's supposed to be like the back of a bandana or something. Yeah, it's hard to tell. That I think that is supposed to be the best. Or else he though. has the like world's knife. longest index finger and is pointing it to the side of his head. Just because the shading looks real weird. Oh, yeah. You got him up to level 7. He's not completely worthless anymore. I think. You hope. I hope. Let's not say things we can't take back. <laughs> so where are you headed now? Are you headed back? To uh, yeah. Uh, no. We're gonna. Tr I'm just gonna see like how those enemies work and make a valiant attempt to try and get down to. Oh, we, we got two nose eyes. Excuse me. I gotta sneeze here. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. Hopefully that didn't go directly into the mic. Okay, let's see if we can do damage. Well, no. both characters' damage nope. supposedly only went up by one. Yeah. Okay, let's try and teleport him out of here. Whoop. 
Well, that clearly didn't work. Let's try... Doing any damage? I think it's just not so much we have to learn new teleport spells, it's that our teleport spells seem to have a very low chance of actually working. And no, that didn't work either. Jesus. Uh... Teleport. Shiba, get out of here. Okay, so let's try our teleport. Did we escape? I don't think we did. I think we wound up in purgatory again. Shit. Uh, well, I am going to try and just get to that and cross my fingers. The one that's supposedly, like, south of here. Whoop, you there? Yeah, oh, yeah. there you are. If, if you can make it to Arc City, you'll be okay. Right. You can get number three. Yeah, um, uh, just not entirely sure how to go south. I don't think I can scale that. Here we go. There's something... Yeah, like oh a god, tiny we're making bridge or something you can climb and go down. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Uh this looks rough. Let's see what Oh wow, psychic fire. That sounds awesome. Let's see how that works. Oh god. Oh wow, this wreck shit. Uh it's probably just blow everyone up. I blew Messiah up pretty hard. Let's see if we can, uh... Add teleport away this guy. Please work. No, it didn't. If I can kind of tell what it says just based on the characters it's replacing. Because, of course, they, they use the English to replace a bunch of the Japanese fonts. And I can just, like, see particular punctuation patterns. Hmm. So, uh, Psychic Fire, let's, uh, Toast Messiah again. No, oh, she only took 21 damage that time. Um, okay, command. Let's keep on trying to teleport this guy. It'll work one of these days. <laughs> oh, Shadrams had a psychic power, though. Shkash. Uh. And I think we, uh, Minami can't do shit now, so, um, hmm, huh, oh dear. And here I thought, you know, we, we might have passed the, uh, the most difficult part of the game. Nope. 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 Oh, God. I mean, you killed a enemy, so that is a step in the right direction. So I'm still curious, what does Psychic Shaker do? I'm trying to figure that out. This list does not actually tell me what these moves do. Doesn't seem to pump up damage any. Oh! And now we're both essentially paralyzed, so... Uh... Welp! That was fun while it lasted. Ho ho! We're... We're dead again. Yay. Yay, Jesus. Whoop, boop, boop, There we go. Uh, good night, Mav Cow. Hope you, uh, hope you sleep well. Okay, so... Let's, this is basically a wipe. Let's, uh, 
Let's fix this. Boop. We are now up to... 10. This game's amazing. We're at 10.49. We've, uh... As of, like, 5.45, I will have played the six hours of this I said I would. So, we, we've got an hour left to go. An hour left to go. Um, I want to see if I can at least, like, get the third party member before, um... So, we're averaging not quite two per hour, like a, a wipe, yeah. Uh, to be fair, we had like five at the very beginning, so it's fairly unbalanced. It, basically, if we're if all of our guys get paralyzed, that's basically a wipe, because there's nothing we can do. Eh. So many yeah, salamanders I around here. I'm reading through some stuff online about the game. It says, uh, there's no way to cure paralysis in battle. <laughs> oh, nice! At all. At all. Wow. Game design. <laughs> Why would you ever want to make progress? Uh, to be <laughs> fair, I, I mean, that works for a lot of Nipponichi RPGs. I mean, half the time I start playing those, uh... I, I eventually say, no, fuck stories, I want to see my numbers go up. And then I basically, you know, spend way too long making things better, so... It's like, progress? Well, technically, I guess that is progress, so... Eh. <sighs> like, okay, what items... So, I... Th I think we have, you know, good gear for everyone. Yeah, we've got the best items, and we've got a weapon that I think does damage. I think. <coughs> Being operative word here. I'm seeing don't give anyone the ray gun because it does less damage than the yeah. Um, I I unfortunately bought that before reading it. No. I was like, whoopsies. I... I sure, uh, uh, borked this one, didn't I? Okay, let's see if, uh... We can grind up here where these tiles won't murder us. Hey, what's this? Shooter and Stalker suddenly appeared. Uh, can we use our ESP to wipe at least one of these jerks out? I hope so. Um, let's try the shooter. 12 hole damage. Woo! I don't think these guys can paralyze us at the very least. Or swoon us or anything else that could be a negative status condition. I haven't seen anything like poison or anything. It's just like status seems to be basically incapacitating you in some way, shape, or form. Which may as well, you know, kill you. Well, we, we got shooter at least. Let's see if we can uh, teleport stalker out of here. No. Mm hmm. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> ESP. Now please go away. No, it didn't work. Yeah. ESP. Please, please, please work. Please work. It did not work. God damn it! 
<laughs> Pilo, you start at the beginning of the game. Yep. Um, actually, if you fail your teleport anywhere that's not like this mechanical area, you wind up in that same, you know, area at the beginning of the game. What's up, John? Hmm? What's up, John? Uh, just, just enjoying the experience. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were looking something uh, something up for there. I thought that's why you went all silent. I was trying to find uh, more information on this game, but now my browser's starting to freak out. Oh God! But I... It knows what you're looking for. It's, it's like infected in my no, system. no, no, no. We're not... not doing this, buddy. So I'm closing. I'm closing Firefox, and then because uh, the screen has gone black, mm -hmm. and the only phrase that appeared as I clicked close is, "Stargazers is renowned for being one of the worst RPGs." <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I am not sure we can, like, win this. Unless my teleport hits. Please, for the love of God, do something. No, that didn't work. Uh, do I have anything that can restore psychic points? Maybe if I use medicine? Do I have medicine? I do. But I'm not sure if you can actually use that in battle. Or maybe you can? Uh... Nope, don't have enough to use that. Bleh. Is that the aim potion you picked anyways? Yeah, that was the aim potion. Please work. No? Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any, like, like, we have to grind, if not to do damage, but to actually, like, make our spells hit. <laughs> we, I, I like, think that might be the case, I don't know. It's hard to tell <coughs> with the little information that's out there. Yeah, this game, uh, is a, god damn, I pick start again. I keep doing that, Jesus. I'm sure we could probably cheat and figure out like how to change a password to have a higher level, but that's... We are here for suffering, people. We're not here for, you know... We didn't take the easy way out. We picked this thing to play. And I found a, a more comprehensive Japanese guide, but my Japanese is non-existent. I could probably, I could probably check that. You but want to send your way? um, I kind of want to look it up once we're done because I'm, I'm just kind of fascinated as to what I'm missing. I don't really have the time to like. We've got like an hour left, and I, I don't think I'll have the time to really investigate that. Oh, fair. I threw it. I threw it in the Discord chat for you, just in case. Ah, thank you kindly. And we just had three encounters in a row. And well, here we go. What's weird is that, like, my psychic ball and Shiba's psychic ball seem to do like completely different things. What do they do? Are they just status ailments? Uh, uh Shiba seems to be like a. That assailant, whereas mine seems to do actual damage. All right. Uh, good night, Bad Road. Thanks for uh, joining in. I swear to God, like this game has caused more people to argue over whether or not Mother One has aged badly. <laughs> like it has aged badly in some ways, but you, if you look at it just as a product of its time, it's pretty... Oh, my mouse is in the way again. Ugh. It's done some pretty interesting things. It definitely set a template for uh, better things to follow. It's like looking at the first Dragon Quest. The first Dragon Quest is very hard to play. Yeah. Simply because you have no... You ha really have no party members or anything of that sort. But it, you can see where how it set a template for better things to follow. And you know, that's... 
I mean, maybe it's not the most fun game to play, but it's important and interesting and historically valuable. So I'd say it's it's worth looking at just for those factors. Might just be my opinion, though. No, you're pretty much right. You gotta you can't completely like poo-poo them because of like that there are better games out, but you have to keep in mind what they brought to the table in the first place. And yeah, Hyvek, you're you're absolutely right. Dragon Quest three was a very important RPG. God, maybe I should I... play that. I, last year I was going through Dragon Quest one and two, and I never finished two. Uh, three is really really good. It's it's kind of the first Dragon Quest to have something of a job system. I think oh. it pre it predates Final Fantasy three for having something like that. Where it's like you can assemble your party out of a bunch of different classes you pick. And at the time that was kind of, you know, wizardry and other, like, Western RPGs had things like that. But that was kind of new to Dragon Quest and Japanese RPGs. So people were just like, whoa, this is pretty neat. And it had had class changes and, and stuff like that. And it's, it's a well-made game. For a long time it was, like... I think it got like a 10, 10, 10, 9 in Famitsu back when Famitsu scores were actually like harsh. So it was the closest thing they had to a perfect score until Ocarina of Time came around. And, and then, then they just it up. yeah, and then they they just give them out like candy these days. Yeah, didn't Final Fantasy XII get a, a 10, 10, 10, 10? It did. Uh, so did Vagrant Story. They really like uh, Yasumi Matsuno, I guess. Or Square advertises a lot with them. Wink, wink. Uh, Famitsu's got problems, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so are you just grinding right now? Uh, kind of? I'm just trying to think, like, is it even, like, possible to get to that one town in my current state, and should I, should I cheat and, like, use some means to gain levels really, really easily? Because I don't yeah, really... At the very I... least, you might need to scum a bit, save scum a bit to get that. Yeah, hmm. What do you say, folks? You were, you were close. Look at the map. You were actually fairly close to Yeah, the hmm. I feel like I'd be justified in safe scumming just because I have like an hour left and I kind of want to cover as much ground as possible. You know, I want to suffer for your entertainment, but at the same time, I want to like showcase the game rather than just grinding. I know, like I said, what, what kind of inspired me to pick this game was that I saw PJ running the Seventh Saga and that he was doing like 12 hour runs that showed grinding and everything you need to do in that game to actually succeed, which is a lot. But, uh, hmm. this is, uh, not the Seventh Saga, it is nowhere near as good as the Seventh Saga. I know some people will argue Seventh Saga is good, but, um, let me tell you, for as much as that game, like, basically dunks your head in the toilet over and over again, it's a lot better than this thing. Have you played Seventh Saga, John? I have been spared. One of my roommates in, in university warned me about it, and I've never bought a copy. I feel and I've never had a chance to play it. I feel like people should play it just to see an RPG that really does not give a shit about you. It does not care for your feelings. It takes your feelings and it stomps all over them. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. I think I'm. I'm actually just gonna try save scumming until I get to that one little town. The old power generator is running, so... Hmm. That's what I'm, uh, I'm gonna do. Just head back there for a bit, because you people probably don't really want to see grinding. I mean, me and John can just shoot the ship for a while. I'm sure you wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I yeah, it's like, it's like Hyvax says, uh, Seven Saga localization pulls the Ninja Gaiden 3 US. Oh, really? It, it makes the game just ridiculously hard. 
It is so much harder than the Japanese version, it's not even funny. So, does that mean, like, the actual Japanese Seven Saga is an okay game? It, yeah, it's a lot easier. Like, a lot easier. And you can still find uh, remnants of the code. Like, at one point in Seven Saga, you recruit a partner. One sec, just checking something here. Ah, seems like a lot of folks are going to bed. I don't blame you. Just seeing... Just checking the chat real quick. Boop. I am a good streamer. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah. Um, at one point in Seven Saga, a partner joins you, and when they join you, like, they have the same stats as they would in the Japanese version. What makes the game harder in the US version is that your stat growth is really crippled compared to the Japanese originals. However, the enemy stats haven't changed at all! Which means a lot more grinding, and even with a lot more grinding, um, you're still doing a lot less for a lot more work. Like, if you're not using items to boost your stats constantly in that game, um, you're failing. It is rough as hell. Um, at one point you have uh, these items called runes, you're supposed to be collecting them, you need all seven of them, that's why it's called Seventh Saga. And by using them uh, in battle, you can uh, up your stats and all that. At one point in the game, you basically have these all stripped from you. And you've been essentially relying on them up until that point, so you're really, really, really boned and have to adjust super quickly. Now, I'm sorry to spoil that for folks, but uh, that's Seven Saga for you. And the final boss, holy shit! <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, uh, I recommend playing that game. Not uh, for fun, but for for reasons. Okay, we're we're gonna try and save scum this. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, quick save state. I really should learn the keyboard. Shortcuts of Nestopia, but I don't really use Nestopia much. Alright, it says when oh, you go shit. straight down, you should see uh, something that looks like the letter E. And then if you go to the kind left, you find of? the residential area, and okay. just below it, you find the government Shift area. One. Saved it. Good. Actually, I think I can kill this. Let me try it. If I ESP it enough, I might be able to kill it, because there's only one of them. We. I might actually, yes. 33 damage. That's good. Guard. 28 damage out of a couple thousand. Uh, what was the name of that character? Uh, Uriel. Uh... Or it's Urigel, I think. Yeah, Ergo. Points. Oh, so he only needed one more to die. Well, that was a great use of psychic points right there. Wow, I got uh, 50. Actually, let me save. Whee! Sorry? Is this a psychic joke? Uh, I don't think so. At this point, like, I'm just saying words. This game has done things to me. God damn it. Hey, it's San Juan again! It's our buddy San Juan! I don't know what's with this name. And of course we can't do any damage to him. Great! Can we teleport away? Yeah, at least one of us succeeded. Let's try another one. We Please, no purgatory. Please, no purgatory. Please, no purgatory. That, yeah, you might be right, like, Cecil. It might be, uh, Uri Geller. Hmm. Kind of like, uh, oh, what was the Pokemon? The one that is, uh... I've oh, completely forgot his Japanese name. Um, it's the Abracadabra Alakazam uh, evolution chain, but he has uh, 
Yeah, here we go. Here's the E sign. Um, I'll well, one of my guys is doing damage. It's a step in the right direction. It is. We're uh we're fighting San Juan here. Three damage. Stream is the stream is back too. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's up. Um, it uh, connection's fine on my end. It's probably Twitch's side. Yeah, Twitch has been iffy all week. Like last night, uh, yesterday I was trying to watch uh, some stuff. Uh, PJ was doing. He was doing a big Mega Man stream, and uh, uh, his like he can do anything on Twitch for something like five hours. Jeez. Yeah, it was. I mean, I love Twitch and all, but man, um, uh, was it that they're doing like a server migration? I've heard it's a server migration. And the thing is, too, I'm right next door to Twitch headquarters in San Francisco, so there's like I should not, uh, you know, if I'm connecting to the San Francisco server, it shouldn't be a problem. You, you I think. Would think. Uh, please die. Uh, Aine should be dead, but she's not. So that's a thing. She's, pro she's probably got less than 10 health then. Yeah, she's got less than 10 health. Uh, let's see if I can just ESP the hell out of this guy. Please die. Oh, that's great. He took no damage. No. Good. Same that's one good. Has 26 health in total, so... Yeah, we'll just, like, plink away at him. Please don't attack INA. Fuck. Welp. She's dead. We're gonna have to make a potion to, uh, revive her. <laughs> and he just used Hyper to heal. So I don't know how good his health is. How many health did he heal? I don't know. It take the ha half the game to get the character that's actually capable of doing damage. Um, well, I did upgrade my weapon, so that's kind of why we're actually doing damage now. Of course, Shiva still isn't doing shit and just being useless. Mother f fucker, am I paralyzed? Oh no. Oh no. Uh... Yeah, I appear to to be paralyzed. Um, hmm. Well, we can teleport. And we'll probably just wind up back in purgatory. Yep, uh, we sure did. Battalion suddenly appeared. Nami's still paralyzed, so... Uh, I think the best thing we could do here is probably teleport out again and save and quit. Again. <laughs> hey, we're we're almost done! How much is left? Uh, it's 11.21. I think I said I, I'd stop somewhere between like 11.30 and, and like 12. So, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there, guys! Time. We've almost made it! Hey, we got Minami out of there. And, uh, now he just paralyzed Shiba. Oh boy! How you doing, John? <laughs> Better than you, apparently. <laughs> Welp. Welp! Oh! <laughs> so now we just get to sit and watch ourselves die slowly. 19 damage a pot. By the way, we have something like, uh, 1800 hit points. <laughs> so, we, we just get to sit here, um... Or we can reset. Though, I think our last save is, uh... 
Dragon Tales. I don't think that really counts as a wipe because we're going to be like saving. I would just save and quit and restart from uh, our first town anyway. Okay, what do we have as far as weapons go? I want to see if we saved. Oh, good, we saved. Oh, we still had a decent weaponry, so I think. Uh, Actually, let's grind a little here and see if we can get our, our newest member, like, some some experience. Because she started at level zero, like everyone else in this game. We all start as idiot psychic children, and we grow up to uh, horrible adolescents. Sorry, I pushed my mic out of the way there. You sit, <laughs> you sit here doing nothing with thousands of HP. Yep. You can have uh, all the HP in the world, and basically if you get hit by Paralyze, it's like you are so boned. <laughs> Kinda can't believe this playthrough is still going. Neither than I, but uh, when I do things, I commit to it. <laughs> Gaming.moe, we commit to it. Wait, was that the... did that mean I gained a level? I think it might have? Uh, let's see... okay, well there's Minami. Boop! So... shield ESP. I'm not entirely sure, like, uh... I've never seen shield come up. Okay, let's check her strength. Oh, she's got telepathy, huh? Hmm, interesting. I'm kind of tempted to try that. See if she can use it on the map. So, like, here is Invisible Town again. Uh, ESP telepathy. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can do telepathy, and uh, this man clearly has some very deep thoughts. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about... you ever played Golden Sun? Yeah. <laughs> and this guy is yeah. thinking the same thing. Man, people uh, are thinking about those beans. People love them bean breakfasts. <laughs> <laughs> Full bean flavor. If you find the psychic, you will be rewarded. Uh, aren't we the psychic? Um, hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy. <laughs> this guy claims to be a doctor as well as a chemist. I believe you, buddy. Yeah, we got the fourth party member before the third. I'm not sure like how the ordering here quite yeah, works. The guide says the same thing. You get this person before you get the third. Despite their position, they are definitely... <laughs> What? Okay, so telepathy basically reveals that everybody in this game is a terrible person. Uh. <laughs> oh, actually, she doesn't seem too bad. What about our healer type here? Uh, let's see what you have to say. Uh huh. Uh, so maybe that was the story you you wanted to tell us the whole time there. Hmm. Oh boy. That's a great story. A great, great story. story. And she's blocking this other guy. Yeah, you go pee in the corner there, sweet cakes.
Man, these people have such deep thoughts. Actually, there's a village up here, and now I'm just tempted to, like, peer into everybody's minds and be a complete jerk. <laughs> because, yeah, really, no. uh, what else are we going to be doing in, in this? <laughs> Can you treat the blank space? Now, that, that is where um, our third party member would go. Our third party member is, I think, that girl who would just kind of show up randomly for some reason because uh, there was no, that, a bug. That's the girl you have now. That's the girl you have now, I think. Well, I know I've seen somebody like show up in the third slot once or twice, <laughs> just oh, randomly. In the third slot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just randomly, it's like, oh, hello, what are you doing here? This game is very. Uh, Stargazers is super. Well programmed. Okay, let's telepathy you. Are you thinking about them beans? Hmm. Sometimes my mind thinks I'm rowing a boat. Interesting. Holy crap. Um, the ID cards, like uh -huh. the silver one you have. Yeah. Uh, they're th three thousand gold. Oh wow. So, don't waste them? Don't w <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh... Hmm. Half these people are talking to me like they're directly talking to me. It's like the Garfield scenario. Garfield can allegedly... Garfield can't talk, but people can hear him. Why am I Garfield's talking about Garfield? The world's most renowned psychic. Yes. And this guy's a jerk. The quality thing is, you know, kind of a neat idea, but it just reveals that NPCs are... kinda... eh. Plus this is the village where we just saved everybody from the, the horrible, like, skin... whatever that disease was called. The AIM disease? Yeah, the disease we... we cured with the aim potion that was called, like... Yeah, see, this girl says we saved her life. I, oh, God. Why am I keep on forgetting that disease's name? Jesus. It was skin something. Uh, keep dreaming there, lady. That, that ain't happening. Do-do-do. Alright, that's enough fooling around here. Enough of this time. Time to get serious. Time to get serious. Skin rinse? Was that the name? Yeah, that was the name. Skin rinse. Yeah. See, the skin rinse that, disease. Back back <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I gotta admit, that name does sound kind of terrifying. You know, skin rinse uh, on its own, um, that sounds pretty nice, but then you talk about skin rinse disease, and it's like, ugh. Ugh. Now we're in this dungeon again. Grind Aine up a bit so she doesn't become, like, well, I don't know how long we have to grind INA. We've got, depending on if I want to end this exactly six hours after we started, like at 11.45, we've got like 15 minutes left to half an hour left. We're almost there. Almost there, John. Nearly. Yes, thank you for suffering with us. It's been a beautiful <laughs> time. I'm gonna have to go and like after like I'm just gonna go play something good. Like, right <laughs> play some Baz. Yeah, now probably be Ninja Gaiden. I'll just sit down and beat Ninja Gaiden. The original? No, oh, yeah, the, the NES one. Mm -hmm. So like uh, not being a, a Ninja Gaiden aficionado like you, um, somebody mentioned earlier that Ninja Gaiden 3 US is apparently a lot harder. Oh yeah. Okay, so you didn't know this. Okay. N no. Um, so. 
So, Ninja Gaiden 3 in the US, um, Ryu takes double damage. Nice. And there are limited continues. Oh. Yeah, you have five continues to beat the game while you're taking double damage. I There's something else I'm forgetting, too. I feel like the the Japanese one had a password system, maybe? Hmm. That might not be right. But, uh, yeah, no, it was severely, like, it was hard game syndrome. It was, like, make it harder for the U.S. And so, the it's the Dark Souls of Ninja Gaiden. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> there you go. The only oh. version in North America that fixed it, I think, was the trilogy version, the Super Nintendo one. Hmm. They didn't do anything for, like, Ninja Gaiden 2 and the original, as far as the U.S. goes? Um, the original release of 3D Ninja Gaiden, uh, on the original Xbox, you could unlock 1, 2, and 3, but they were the, uh, the trilogy version. Ah. So they were the Super Nintendo versions of the game. And then well, I think in Ninja Gaiden Black, it was the arcade version unlocked. Hmm. But, like, uh, when they brought over Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2, they were the same, right? Yeah. Literally, yeah, for some reason they decided to just change it with 3, because apparently the first two weren't considered hard enough. Uh-huh. Makes sense? Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, back. I can never say your name right, sorry. Has got the, uh, the whole thing. Uh, limiting another continues, increasing the damage done by enemies, adding more enemies... And removing the password feature. Okay, so the only thing I forgot were the extra enemies. Hmm, interesting. That is bizarre, given that Ninja Gaiden was always just renowned for being... completely brutal in terms of difficulty. I guess they just felt the need to just make it even harder. They're like, alright, people figured out how to get through the first two. Let's just spite them. Yeah. What level are we at? Hey, we're at level 2, and we've almost hit level 3? Hmm. Is it high back, or is it just the back? Hmm, good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's from a... I'm so enthralled by the game. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Right now, I'm just like, oh, oh god, when does this, when does this end? Some people uh, beat this. I, I cannot believe without a without, you know, without save files. They entered a password every time. That just like blows my mind. Sort of cave shmup. Okay. Yeah. Which? Jeez. Uh, which one is... Uh, I should know this. I, I'm a cave person, so it's like, why don't I recognize what, <laughs> what Hyvek is from? The, the, the cruel joke is that I have no idea how it's pronounced either. Amazing. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it, it's probably Hyvek or Hivak. We're just going from Japanese pronunciation. Like, I'm pretty sure if you just played the piano, you could figure out how to play this game's battle music. Or at least the initial battle music. The one you get later on is a bit more complex, but I feel like you could probably plink that out. By the way, John, have you, uh, have you tried Mitomo yet? Uh, yes I have. Oh boy, have you been doing pictures? Uh, no, but everyone else I know has. They've been making some amazing ones. My I, my problem with Miitomo is that it just it needs more content. Did I ask you about this already? I think I'm starting. I'm, yeah, I, I think we already talked about this. Yeah, I, I think said, yeah, like it, it was pretty <laughs> light on content. Oh god, this game is this game is murdering my brain. It's done something to my short-term memory. I could believe that. Oh god, help! You have the power to stop this. I have the power to stop this, but I I made a commitment. <laughs> I'm committed to my misery and your entertainment, you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Like I'm already kind of thinking, like, what should I do for next year? And hopefully I'll have like a a good capture device. 
Because I really kind of want to do Last Rebellion. Oh, God. Last Rebellion has really good music at the very least. Yep, random battles in three steps. Uh, welcome to Stargazers. Oh, here's a fourth one. Okay, what level is, uh, is, uh, what's her face at? Probably three. Yeah, she's at three. She doesn't need much for four. Hey, her telepathy level increases. I'm not sure how much good that does. Now she can read two thoughts from someone's brain. Uh, does it change, like, the messages she gets? Try it. Nah, still thinking about those beans. <laughs> thinking about those beans. Yeah, it's taking that, why not? <laughs> yeah, the way the encounter rate works in this is pretty inexplicable, because the way it works in something like the original Final Fantasy and most games with random encounters is that you get you start with a random number and it counts down every step and once it like goes past zero that's when you get an encounter whereas in this like we can reload and you know reload from a safe state and it just you know it gives you something different every time so I think it's just some weird RNG thing so you could theoretically, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You could theoretically just, like, tass it so you never had a fight easily. You probably could find some way to manipulate it like that, yeah. And, you know, we haven't had any bosses, is the thing. I'm not sure this game has bosses. Aside from, uh, some of the enemies in the end, and... Man, do I do I want to reveal what the uh, what happens at the end? Like I've uh, I've spoiled myself a bit on what the ending involves, and it's amazing. Should I spoil it, chat? <laughs> this whole game is the boss. Uh, final technique, <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. Now, ah, fuck it. If you guys stuck around this long, uh, you're clearly as committed as I am. So, uh, yeah, um, so, towards the end of the game, you meet the Space Dolphins. Okay. I'm not kidding! The Space Dolphins! And, uh, god, I forget if it's like they offer you, like, they're there because they think the, the humans are, like, polluting you know, going to destroy the planet, and they've they've come to, uh... Something like... Is this, the... is this Star Trek 4? The one where the they blow up the planet because of, there's no whales? So they travel in time to get the <laughs> whales? No, I, I think it's more like the dolphins are a benevolent race that are going to offer to make the world better, but we can also fight them for reasons. <laughs> oh my god, wait, did the stream cut out when I revealed the dolphins? It's still going on my side. Okay. Oh. Somebody has written all, all about the dolphins. Like, if you see pictures from the remake, the fan remake they did in Japan, um, yeah, they did a fan remake of this. I saw, it looks like it's done an RPG maker. Yeah, and it's... Um, it's fixed, and now I, I, like, honestly want to play it to see how much better it is. I'm sure it is. But, yeah, uh... <laughs> the dolphin... The pictures of the dolphins are great. I've only heard hush hey, whispers of dolphin? Last Rebellion. Uh, Last Rebellion is a shitload better than this. It's still really bad. Like, um... It, it's kind of bad in different ways, just because it's so... Like, this is incompetent in, in ways that kind of...
blow the mind for the standards given the era? Well, no, I guess Last Rebellion is also incompetent in mind-blowing ways for standards given the era. I'm pretty sure Last Rebellion was basically a PSP game that was shifted to PS3 somewhere in development and they just totally forgot to upscale pretty much every asset in the game. The characters look great, uh, some of the enemies look pretty good, the backgrounds look sub-PS2. And it's like this in that, you, well, you can see enemies on the screen, but um, they never, like, stop chasing you. So sometimes, like, if you get an encounter, there will just be, like, this daisy chain of enemies waiting to fight you. Wait, what? Is it incompetent in the idea factory fashion? Um, it's incompetent in the Hitmaker fashion. Um, Hitmaker was this publisher NIS worked with for a while. They're not the Sega Hitmaker. Like, uh, they're a separate company that was called Hitmaker, and they, they did work for NIS and some other firms. And, uh, I think their most prolific title was Dino Crisis 3, which says a lot. I've not played Dino Crisis 3, but, you know, it's like, how do you take the concept of dinosaurs in space and completely screw that up? I mean, you... at least they had the right idea for it, at least. Yeah, have you played Dino Crisis 3 by any chance? No, actually, um, I remember reading reviews when it first came out and avoiding it, and then it took me until, uh, I think late last year to even find a copy to buy. Wow, yeah, it, it does seem it does seem rare for some weird reason. I think Capcom knew, <laughs> which, which makes you wonder, like, how did they know for that one and not know for Resident Evil Six? Because the many years gap happened. Hmm. Well, you know, I think they, they managed to convince themselves that Resident Evil 6 was actually, like, good. Somehow. Well, to be fair, did it actually sell surprisingly well? I think it sold better than 5 did. Um, I think... Uh, I think 5 is still, like, the best-selling worldwide. But 6, um... Hmm. 6 is up there, I know that. 6, six is I mean, it sold well, but it's, well. it's not... Yeah, it's, it's not critically received well. Then again, 5 was not quite either. Not I was like received five. a lot better, I think. I know Capcom just doesn't really... They look back on Resident Evil 6 as being something of an embarrassment, which, uh... Why, they put more focus on the uh, revelations and the remakes. Yeah. Now, Resident Evil 6 is pretty bad, but I it, it's bad in, like... There are so many different ways things are bad. I, Resident Evil 6, uh, the, the big problem with that game, I feel, is that they tried to do way, way, way too much with it, and the focus is just all over the goddamn place. Really should yeah, just, like, 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 get, you know, two characters and have them do their buddy cop zombie murdering thing rather than trying to make this epic with, like, everybody who is anybody in the Resident Evil series. I feel like they almost wanted to make it, like, the blowout, like, like this is how we end the series. Kind of, but... Mm, I don't think they had the development time or, like, the console power to really do it well. I, I think they really just bit off more than they could chew, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, like, I feel as like they're gonna announce Resident Evil Seven at some point, and they're they're basically reevaluating at this point. You look at stuff like Revelations, and it's like, okay, clearly they still have an idea of what people want out of Resident Evil, and they were just just avoiding talking about uh, Stargazers entirely because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh boy, my Twitch rate just 
like went into the shitter. That's not good. Whoop one. Oh, there it is. It's back again. You know, sometimes I feel like the, the twitch rate just drops for this and people won't even notice because so much nothing is happening. It, it cuts back and it's still the exact same screen, but you're in a completely different fight. <laughs> Holy shit, that's the first time I've tried breaking that and it like blows up the whole... What? Wait, did we just like blow up everything here? Holy shit. That's interesting. What did huh. you use? Um, I just used my psychic break spell, and I think I blew up everything. I think yeah, I think break was marked in here to be a really good ability. Oh, and now everything's back. Ha! <laughs> We're going to fight, and they just rebuilt everything. It's great. Oh God! Oh, I see what you mean. Holy shit! <laughs> there we go. Should have kept that nuke in your pocket. Yep. And now I have a silver ID card, but my blue ID card is gone again? That's weird. You might have used it on a door or something in the town. By accident? In the, there were no doors in the town, I don't know. Uh, huh. Well, my brakes level 4 me, that's why I'm able to just crush things with my fair thoughts. <laughs> Oops, I casted Armageddon. <laughs> okay, can I kill battalions yet? Please die. Well, the good thing is we're actually doing uh, some damage. And what's weird is that uh, Aine does not have a weapon, yet she seems to be able to do... Oh, motherfucker, somebody's paralyzed. Oh, it's Shiba. Well, you're useless anyway, Shiba, so... Meh. Meh. Oh, Shiba's just asleep. So, maybe he'll wake up eventually. You're giving this game too much credit. Yeah, I'm, I know I am. Uh, Psychic Fire. Oh, I don't have enough points for it. Whoops, daisies. Oh, th these guys are just putting us all to sleep. <laughs> Boo! I think it just missed battalion entirely. Jesus. Yeah, sleep you can actually wake up from. That's great! Wow, that's that's actually kind of amazing. Oh, uh, I mean, it's the thing that should have been the case for everything else. Phew! Excuse me. Bless you. Yes. Nine more minutes, guys! Nine more minutes of this! <laughs> and these guys can heal. When the hell do I get a healing spell? I think it's probably, like, the last party member I have that gets a healing spell. Probably. Uh... Can I actually beat battalions? I am not sure. Boop. No damage. Boop. Ah, Minami's asleep again. God damn it. These are not paralyzing. These guys also have the ability to paralyze, but it seems like every enemy at this point has, like, some paralysis thing that just... Mm. You know, difficulty. Difficulty. Game balance. No damage. Uh, so here's the thing, like, when I used to play RPGs, I would get annoyed when, like, the games would have a minimum damage of one. I was like, well, it would make sense if you had real good armor and somebody hit you that, uh, you would do no damage. And then I look at a game like this and I'm like, okay, so that's why those are in games. 
Uh... Yeah, you can wake up, you can't become unpetrified. And, you know, our, we still can't make enemies teleport away. Because our psychic children are idiots. So close. So close. I think it worked! No, it didn't. Uh, Minami's still asleep. Please wake up one of these days, Minami. I'd re I'm really curious, like, how the RNG works in this now. Because it does not seem to follow logic. Oh, now everybody's asleep. You will wake up eventually, I think. Oh, there we go. Somebody woke up. Whee! Crank up fire. Huzzah. Is he dead yet? No, he's not. Blech. Oh, hey, we actually inflicted a status ailment on somebody. That's, uh, it's kind of miraculous here. Jesus. Okay, Battalion, Fine, please die. Work. Hooray, one of them is dead. Okay, let's... Crank Psychic Fire up again. Please die. Oh, great. And our, our teleport failed, and I couldn't do anything to escape it because, uh, teleport... Remember, you can't cancel any of your commands. Well, I think this might... I'm just going to save because maybe, maybe someday we will uh -huh. come back to this. But I ha uh -huh. get the. F uh huh. Yeah. You doubt me, John? <laughs> That's the worst part, is I kind of don't. <laughs> oh boy. I think, uh. I think this is a good note to call it on. So, in six hours, I think we got three of our party members. I'm. Uh, can you check the fact and see like how far we are in this thing? Do you want to? You want to know? I want to know. Uh, let's see here. Um, it breaks it down to eight sections of the okay. game. Okay. Okay. You are in section five. Oh wow! So we've actually made significant progress. Uh, section eight seems to be pretty long because it's broken down into like what looks to be separate dungeons. Hmm. <laughs> And uh, the section you're in right now actually seems to be the longest section. Oh. Text-wise, at least, it's pretty long, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. The stream is now in purgatory. It sure is. Wow, so we accomplished things, I guess. Like, <laughs> the, these early RPGs weren't... People remember them for being long, but honestly, they're not terribly long. It's just that you didn't know what to do. And that's why you got lost and uh, couldn't progress. That's why you were stuck wandering around in Zelda for a year, because you didn't know what to do. The game wasn't great about telling you about that. Oh yeah, this game has a plot. It doesn't really tell you about it, but it's about uh, psychic children trying to save the world. And space dolphins eventually are involved. Yep. It's a masterpiece. Absolutely. Well, John, uh, thank you for, uh, for joining in on the, st on the stream. It's always, uh, always much appreciated, even though, even though you missed my panel. I'm sorry. I missed your panel because I was at my <laughs> panel. I know! Like, that, that's what uh, they said at MAGFest. They said, I asked for you and was like, uh, like, I wanted to have you come up and, like, read some text from, I, uh... I, I heard, yeah, you told me that you, like, and then now for my good friend Proton John to come up, I'm like, uh-oh. 
And then he did the same, he did the same thing with Slow Beef, and he also wasn't there. Yeah, he, he couldn't get in. Which, uh, yeah, I'm a little sad about that. It's like, why didn't I... This... You, you didn't think a panel about bad cutscenes was not going to fill a room? I mean, I know we were up against some, uh... Some hefty competition there, but... That's something people like. Yeah, I think, uh... Last year we did a bad cutscene panel, my buddy Tom and I. Mm -hmm. And I think we had better turnout than we did for Throne Controllers, so... Oh, like, what cutscenes did you do? I... Which God, panel? He picked, a, he picked a lot. We went. We did a lot of like the classics, like House of the Dead two. Yeah, that uh, I did that. That was in mine. What's that weird Turbo Graphics game about the guy who wants to blow up everything? I don't oh, know that, that sounds intentional. That sounds kind of vague, but. Uh, Last Alert. Yeah, that was in mine too. Like. No, that, it wasn't Last Alert. It was something else. Was it? It was like. It was like a platforming superhero game. Uh, was okay. it uh Bravo Man? The, the... No, yes, Bravo, Bravo Man because there was the, the the poster of Hitler was in the background at the end. Oh. Okay. And like some other stuff. Yeah, like I just stuff like that. I'm just trying to think of what else that was in there. We we put a lot of stuff in. And I don't remember any of it because that was like a year and a half ago now. You not reach the controller throne. Okay, I'm I'm going to shut this. <laughs> Go away. Are you sure? Hell yes, I'm sure. All right. Well, our if we count the times like battles were unwinnable, our wipe count is probably more around fifteen ish. But it, it, it you know, hmm. This wow. Like, I mean, I've researched this game a lot. I've heard of a lot of things, but actually playing it is something else. Like, you, you really don't feel how badly designed it is until you get into a battle. You literally cannot win and have no no recourse to do anything in. It's, like... So it's the feel-good game of the year. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh... I dare say it is the Dark Souls of Famic... <laughs> God, God damn it. <laughs> oh... Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I hope we they get our panels up soon, because... Holy shit, did I pick some gems for that one, and I really just want to show people. People gotta see that Citizen X. Yeah, I, like I said, it, they uploaded a bunch of panels, like, yesterday, so it looks hmm. like they're still in the process of doing it. Yeah, it's taking a lot longer this year. And what, once the, the panel's up, I'll probably put my notes for it up just so people can refer to it and be like, hey, what was that uh, What was that game you did there? Oh, that was Stepping Selection. What was that game you did? That was Fantasy by SNK from 1981. So, yeah. It should be, uh, should be good. Anyhow, uh, thank you for suffering along with me, John. Hopefully this uh, illuminated you as to the depths of despair and depravity which uh, which the Kusoge life has chosen for us. Yeah. The Dark I, Souls of I, Kusoge. I, I, I there you go, go Cecil. <laughs> I haven't gone this far down the rabbit hole yet, thankfully. Oh yeah, Hargoth. We we totally did stepping selection for uh, for bad cutscenes. Oh, stepping selection so good. I mean, technically they're not really cutscenes, but they're they're great. All right, John. Uh, hopefully, I didn't keep you up too late. No, I'm gonna be up for a while. I'm actually gonna go get something to eat. Oh, fun. Uh, hope you get well soon. And uh, thanks again for uh, for hanging up out with us. Hopefully, I'll see you uh, E3 maybe. For sure. I've got my registration in. Just waiting to get word back. Awesome. Same here. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out. And everybody, thanks for coming. I hope you quote unquote enjoyed. Uh, Enjoyed Stargazers, and next year maybe we'll have uh, something just as good. All right. Take it easy, folks. Uh, have a good night. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your games that are much better than this. I'm going to bed. <laughs> night, everybody. Fuck Stargazers. Whoop. Thanks, John. <laughs> good, good, good note to go out on. Yeah. <laughs>